Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's update on Winter Stor Storm Olive. So, looking at our current radar, Winter Storm Olive is underway across the Northern Plains and Great Lakes, where we have widespread snow across South Dakota, much of North Dakota, Central Southern Minnesota, and then we got some pretty heavy snow across much of Wisconsin into Michigan. Michigan is actually getting the heaviest snow right now. And then we currently have some heavy snow moving into areas of western New York State in areas like Rochester with some light to moderate snow making its way to areas such as Vermont, New Hampshire, and even into Massachusetts, including Boston. And we are also uh, currently having a very dangerous ice storm ongoing across southern Wisconsin, uh, eastern Iowa, northern uh, Illinois, and Michigan, as predicted in the models, is having heavy, is having the worst of the ice storm with very heavy freezing rain across areas like Lansing, Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Jackson, and Detroit has been getting freezing rain for the last six to seven hours. So we're probably getting some significant ice accumulations right now across south central Michigan, as well as southern Wisconsin and eastern Iowa. Now looking ahead, timing the storm out through tonight, uh, looking at around 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, the H2R model, we have uh, much of the same as what's going on right now, with snow across the northern plains, upper Midwest, and Great Lakes, and ice across the lower Great Lakes. Going through tonight, uh, the ice will gradually begin to uh, taper down across Iowa, Wisconsin, and Michigan by around uh, 10 to 11 p.m. And then we're just going to be dealing with light freezing rain across northern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, and central Michigan by midnight, while the snow is going to continue across Minnesota, Wisconsin, northern Michigan, the Dakotas, and eastern Nebraska. Uh, snow is going to continue in areas like Minneapolis and Rochester, St. Paul, and Eau Claire, through midnight and then we're going to be seeing our second round of heavy snow move across these areas Thursday morning around uh, 7 a.m. 6 7 a.m. Central Standard Time we're going to be seeing another round of heavy snow move across uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Rochester, La Crosse into Green Bay with possibly some light freezing rain and then as we go into around uh, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time the snow should exit Minneapolis-St. Paul with the snow exiting Wisconsin and Michigan as we go into around 4 o'clock Central Standard Time Thursday afternoon. Now looking at snow accumulations across the upper Midwest in addition to what we, what's already fallen, the H2R model is still painting widespread 8 to 12 inches of snow in addition to what we've already seen over the last couple of days across central southern Minnesota, much of South Dakota, much of Wisconsin, and central northern Michigan. And then looking at the northeast with snow accumulations, the northeast is still looking at a good uh, 9 to 14 inches across upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and western Maine, and then areas like Boston and Massachusetts, central New York State, could get between two and five inches of snow as well as central Maine from winter storm Olive. So thanks for watching this uh, update on winter storm Olive. Make sure you are staying safe, staying off the roads, and staying indoors if you live in the areas impacted by snow and ice. Uh, thanks for watching this evening's weather update and have a wonderful evening my friends.